when it comes to making biscuits, I think we'll all be on roughly the same level. But on a personal level, she's one of the bitchiest and most backstabbing people I've ever met. While half their teams bake biscuits, the other half, led by their project managers, head off to brand them. Okay, this is important. Let's look at the prices of these biscuits. One ninety nine is actually quite expensive. This is quite a high end biscuit that we're making. So, what colour do you think would jump out? Pink. I'm thinking pink and orange. Purple is good. Back in Wales. Crunch time for gyms after school treats. Hello, everybody. With a panel of experts. Dig in, everybody. <laughs> go, 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 go. Firstly, <laughs> that's a good reaction. What did you like? Flapjack. Flapjack, and yourself? Um. I like the flat jacket and I didn't think the um the raisins went well with the cookie. Okay. If you got a star biscuit, you know, do you feel that that's a good thing to have or Yeah. 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 You still associate a star as what you get at school yeah. as a reward. Do you still get stars at school? Yeah. You can put kind of bright colour stars on perhaps the sides of the packets. Like shooting stars. Like oh, we'd like we like come stars. out with you as three D. Shooting stars. Uh, I'll take credit for that one. <laughs> I'm only joking. I'm only joking. Hi guys. Hi Jim. Just out of the focus group. They love the flapjacks and they love the stars. In my mind, flapjack stands out as being the most unhealthy. Was it really a massive runaway success? They really wanted flapjack. Yeah, flapjacks were a runaway success. Okay, stick with the flapjack. That's the feedback you've got. And then special stars. A universe of So that will be our brand name. Any time is treat time. They're not dogs. Any time is treat time contradicts after school fun. Helen, you maybe have to make the call on that. Yeah. We will go with that one. I strongly disagree with that. I have got no objection, yeah. unless you've come up with a great idea now. Our strap lines is a little bit contradictory because the occasion's after school, but they're for any time. Right, is it for after school or, or is it for any time? Which, which one? I think it's a big risk, really sidelining someone in your team. Signed off and into production. Special stars. Someone has to be bullish. Unfortunately, Natasha's ideas weren't great. My ideas seem to appeal to Helen. Maybe she thinks I'm a sharper cookie. Truth be told, I like Helen's personality, but probably because it's passive. Um, who doesn't like that? You cut them perfect. Thank you. You needed the practice, mine, but uh, <laughs> they're perfect. They're delicious. On the other team... Hello, ladies and gentlemen. An assortment of concepts, but no idea who's is best. These are the first biscuits that we've just made. To help choose some Swansea locals. We'd love to get your really honest thoughts on the design, on some names. The first one is this concept of a emergency biscuit. So something's gone wrong and you need like an emergency biscuit. You just put the phone down and you think, oh, I have to have like sugar or something. You rush to the cupboard and get out a biscuit. <laughs> okay, lead balloon. Uh, moving on. <laughs> then we have two different types of biscuit inside each other. I think it's a very good idea when you're looking yeah, for biscuits yeah. for WI. You're looking for something different. So who votes for a two-in-one biscuit? Okay, well, that's, that, that's a much better reaction than I was expecting. Thank, <laughs> thank, you very, thank you very much. Now to showcase her ideas, Melody. What we also could do is using biscuits as the new popcorn. So something like this. Do you have a name for it? Uh, well, what do we think of pop squit? <laughs> They've all gone to sleep, Melody. What we also could do is the heart and then split the biscuit up like this. Half would be coated with chocolate, the other half would be plain. I think it could be good if you want to make up for the wife, you could... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a very good concept. So, who votes for the heart biscuit? Okay. Brilliant. 
result, stalemate. Hello. Hello. We had a fantastic focus group, and they said that the hearts were good. I think hearts are the worst thing to do, and I'm, I'm sorry, Melody, but I'm going to eliminate that straight up. We'd like a round biscuit that you can break and share. Sorry, they thought that the hearts were much better than any other shape. Melody is a nightmare to work with. She's come up with this one idea, which is a heart, and she's pushing it and pushing it and pushing it. I don't like the idea. Tom doesn't like the idea, and Susie doesn't like the idea. And I can imagine that in the focus group, she would have taught them to death about a heart idea until they all held up a white flag and said, yes, we'll go with a bloody heart. They didn't like any other shape other than hearts. Melody, can you just let Tom speak, please? They love the concept of having two biscuits which fit inside each other. I don't like that. I don't like that idea. OK, Tom, yeah, Tom, can you just... So we are talking a round digestive biscuit with buttercrisp in the middle and then milk chocolate on one side. Yeah, definitely. I don't like that. Um, I don't like that. Sorry, I don't like that idea. Sorry, they thought that the hearts were much better than any other shape. 2pm, Windsor. For both teams, a branding and packaging agency. Hello, nice to meet you. Meet you. It's going to be a biscuit for children. The name is Special Stars, and our slogan is Anytime is Treat Time yeah. at the bottom. And then going around the lid, we want Anytime Treat for after school. The slogan, Anytime is Treat Time, is slightly contradicted by after school treat. And actually, Anytime is Treat Time basically says, eat whatever you like when you like and I think they're going to find that very difficult to explain to the supermarkets when they see them tomorrow. The occasion is after school and once the bell's gone and time's out it becomes any time. So our special stars take away the restriction of time so we, we, we open up time if that makes sense. Kind of. Kind of, yeah. 3.30 p.m. On Zoe's team, a decision. Tom's biscuit in a biscuit. Oh, it's too sticky. Shit. What names have you come up with? What about Bicklets? Bicklets. 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 Stack Bicks. Burgers, then. We've kind of pulled two ideas together and have gone for the middle to lower kind of market. We're not going for a luxury product. I think what we've got is, is pretty interesting. Looking good. Really? Yeah. What do you think of that? Yeah, I think it's good. I give you Bix Mix. They look wonderful. Now, Bix Mix needs a box. The price point is $1.99, so it is at the higher end. So we're looking at quite luxurious colours, like purples, gold. So maybe make the X into purple ribbons that crisscross over each other? Yeah. Yeah, that, that's exactly what I'm thinking. Designed to be snapped, halved and shared. Right. Designed to snap and share. Do you like that? I do. Lord Sugar made it absolutely clear that this product would stand out on the shelf and I think it's got a few things going for it. Different texture, you snap it and only half of it's uh, covered in chocolate. Well, there's three different things and it could grow into a strong and healthy little bicky. Bix mix, snap and chef. I like that, I love it. 5pm. Beamed up from Wales, special stars for first pictures. Mm. The chocolate's a lot thicker than I thought it was going to be. I imagine they're quite sickly. I hope not, because you've tested them. Very crumbly and messy, aren't they? Yeah. Back to London. And a plan for tomorrow.